And we're back. We are. Mm. Back today with the uh, first. Well, not really the first. It's technically not the first, is it? No. Um, the first of this week's looks at uh, the state detective. Yes. Beef up, old chap. Um, this is now. Uh, those of you with a good memory will remember Liberation Source, mm -hmm. which we looked at previously. Um, if you don't remember that one, it's in the playlist. Just have a look, you know, State Detective, and you'll see uh, that video. Uh, this is Squadron Leader, the Breakfast Source. Now, Liberation Source doesn't have any chilli. It does not. Mm. Very tasty sauce. Very, very good sauce. Yeah. But uh, no chilli. This one does. Hmm. It's like a little step up, this, isn't it? Hmm. So this has got tomato malt vinegar, which contains barley. In the best accent there. Yeah, I don't know why barley's grown in Yorkshire, but there you go. Um, apple, sugar, onion, Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, Worcestershire, not Worcestershire, not Worcester, it's Worcestershire, America, okay. Um, that contains fish, well, anchovies in fact, mm -hmm. if you want to get really technical. Um, golden syrup, soy sauce containing soy, salt, mustard, mustard, uh, rapeseed oil, spices and 1%. So about that much of the bottle of Naga chilli. Hmm. So it's not crazy hot, but it's going to have a little bit of that, that sort of ghosty going on mm -hmm. around here. Um, so yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. So hmm. Quite looking forward to this one because yeah. I I really love Liberation. I think it's a great source, isn't it? Like I know it's one of your. Uh, your go-to's for your breakfast, isn't it? It so. is, yeah. I do enjoy it. The cat is on cat the computer menace. again. <laughs> Come on. Can you get? <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> animal of doom. Um, <laughs> I think, yeah, possibly you escaped the cat bum there, but... Uh, <laughs> if you didn't, sorry. Yeah, she's now just trying to play with everything. Oh, kitty. Um, so we will, of course, be trying the old Chase the Heat hot sauce tasting spoon. Don't taint your squadron, bro. Absolutely not. The last thing anybody wants is a tainted squadron, old chap. Mm. So, mm, the old spoonage there. Um, let's give this, give this a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a smell. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got that kind of breakfast sauce aroma to it, hasn't it? It does. It does indeed. That right. Lovely colour on it as well. It's a, a lot lighter than like a, a brown sauce. But there's some sort of similar, similar aromas going on there. Hmm. A lovely and glossy as well, isn't it? Yes, you sort of pour it out, and when the uh, when the old dog sees the rabbit there, you know, whoosh, down it comes. It's quite a thick consistency, but it's mm. not overly thick, is it? It's a no, nice... it's still pourable. Yeah, but oh yeah, definitely getting the apple there. Yeah, the apple, the onion. The Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce really does come through, doesn't it? Worcestershire sauce, dear. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. And here comes the cat again. Prepare for tail incursion. Mm. Oh, we're doing all right so far. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, please get off my computers, cat. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> She just wants to be involved. Yeah, she's a pain in the neck because the power button's up there <laughs> and she'll stand on it. Right, let's get this done. Mm. Oh, 
Yeah. The first thing you get straight away when you get it in your mouth is that sweetness that's going to be coming from the uh, the golden syrup and the apple. Mm. Then you kind of get this burst of flavour and you get the Worcester sauce, you get the onion. At the same time that's happening, don't know about you, flat of my tongue, got that proper pow. And actually it's surprising for the percentage of naga in there. There was a, a surprising zing that came through that I'm just now finding is just starting to creep down the back of your throat. But it doesn't take away from the flavour at all. <laughs> yeah. Take there's cover. A, there's a front paw dangerously close to the power button up there. So, <laughs> yes, you get the sweetness from the sugar, from the golden syrup, uh, the fructose, the tail. Uh, <coughs> um, you do definitely get that initial burst. Mm. Um, personally, I think there's just enough acidity to it that if you were going to have this as a you know breakfast sauce with a proper breakfast, it's got to be a proper breakfast. Yeah, none of none of this bowl of rabbit food or hamster no. chow or whatever it no, is. we're talking bacon, we're talking sausages, yeah. we're talking beans, fried eggs, that kind of thing. And steak. And steak, mm. yeah. Um, there's enough acidity there to cut through, um, shall we say, the more traditional um, cooked breakfast. Yes. In a pan with fat and oil and you need that acidity there. Um, just on the sort of aftertaste, if you like, you just get the mustard. Just. Um, I'm not tasting the fish. Probably not, but you're getting the Worcester, sorry, the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, you know, it's it's... It's got a good flavour. I mean, that sweetness again, um, you know, traditionally on a, a cooked breakfast, you know, you've got your bacon and your sausages, which are quite salty. So having that sweetness and like you were saying, that the, the vinegar there to kind mm. of counterbalance through that, um, it would actually be a really balanced flavour mm. with your breakfast. Actually has got my nose running very slightly. I know my tolerance is, is not as good as it, it has been. Um, <laughs> it's coming to my rescue, but yeah. But yeah, it's it's a it's a nice heat. It's not not OTT. It goes off reasonably quickly, but very flavourful. Look at you, just manning it out there. So, when it comes to the heat, this is what I was going to say like two minutes ago. Um, when it comes to the heat, I got it on the tip of the tongue. Um. <laughs> just more garbage. Knocking stuff off now. Cat is being annoying. Um, that was one of the Killer Queen twos that she just knocked off. Oh, for goodness sake, Cat. Um, so, yeah, the, the heat for me, tip of the tongue, just underneath. And then as you swallow, you know, you feel the ghostly burn. You know, the old naga just at the back there. Um, yeah, it, it's not too, it's not too uh, terrible heat-wise. Yeah. I mean, it's it's certainly not something for somebody who's not um, used to chili. You know, if if you're not used to chili, absolutely liberation will give you all of the same flavours um, and all of the same kind of balance of of sweet and sour on there as well. Um, so yeah, not not one for your your kids, not one for your nan. But if you like a little bit of heat and chilli on your breakfast. I don't know, if your nan's a bit frisky, then uh, you know, she might enjoy it. What is it? What is it? Mm. Heat for you? Mm. Um, well, probably a two. 
Yeah, I was going to say about a two. Yeah. I think is fair. You know, it, it, there's chilli in there. You yeah. can tell there's chilli in there. Um, gives you a little bit of a zing. But it's, yeah, you, you could quite happily put that all over your breakfast if you're used to uh, a little bit of chilli. Um, and, yeah, not be a dribbling mess by the time you get to the end of it. But Unless you're me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Good Squadron sauce. Leader Breakfast Sauce. Available from thestatedetective.com. Um, link down in the description. And, uh, yeah, of course, johnnyscovior.com for the uh, tasting spoons. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I think that's quite enough from us Indeed. for now. So. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. No, take care. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one. We've got yeah. this all back. That just threw you completely because you started, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs>